Hello everybody and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ryan and this is Ryan Around the World. Here, this channel is basically just all about my adventures around the world. I absolutely love to travel. It is my top favorite thing to do. I want to go everywhere, anywhere, any time of the day, any time of the year. I think about traveling. 24 7 it consumes my brain honestly but this video is all about my very first royal caribbean cruise this is definitely top three one of my very favorite vacations i've ever been on and i'm so excited to share it with you guys you're going to see so soon why it's one of my favorite vacations so this is the first video in this little mini series we went on a six day five night royal caribbean cruise that left out of cape liberty new jersey and went to bermuda this is my first time ever going to bermuda so you guys get to see all the bermuda content it was so so fun so so beautiful and i can't wait to share that with you guys in the following videos but this first vlog is just basically my travel to the cruise vlog and then everything we did on the very first day on the ship which honestly was a lot like we did a lot considering half of the day was spent traveling to get on the ship but there's a crazy story about how we almost were not able to make it on this vacation and get on the ship literally the day of that you guys are gonna wanna stay tuned for it, which I will talk about in the middle of this video. Yeah, make sure you stay tuned. And if you really like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you really, really like it, make sure that you subscribe and turn on the post notifications because this is video one as a part of a mini series. That's all for this little intro. I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about the trip, but let's get started and get straight into makeup and then a little outfit check, and then we'll be on our way. Okay, so I finished my makeup and my hair and I'm all dressed and ready to go. So I'm just going to show you guys a really quick OOTD. Okay, so here is the fit. I just have on this white jumpsuit from Sheen and it has like linen bottoms and then these stripes across here are navy blue. Then I have on, sorry for the bad lighting, but I have on this necklace that I got from the shore, some happy face earrings, my blue sunglasses, but I put my hair up in a high pony and then just left out two pieces to frame my face. And then my shoes are these navy blue you can't really tell but they're navy blue sandals and they have like gold flowers on them and then and then i have this wristlet which is navy blue and it has the anchor so it's like nautical sailor type you can see the necklace a little better now in the earrings and the sunglasses so oh and i also have on a gold ring to match the gold flowers on my sandals lighting is kind of off but i am all ready to go i finished packing what i need to pack i just had to put our toiletries in our shoe bag and then i had to add a sweatshirt and a t-shirt to my regular clothes bag so i'm gonna show you a little bit about how we packed it looks a little crazy okay so here's the suitcase this is my side and then that's logan's side and then this is where we put all of our toiletries shoes <laughs> and some bags actually no bags are in that one shoes belts the mainly shoes and then toiletries you can see the lotion in there good morning usa i got a feeling that it's gonna be a wonderful day the sun in the sky has a smile on his face okay so vlog update we're at tropical smoothie for handsome smoothies because it's a two-hour drive and we're not going to stop to eat hello Check in. Okay, we're walking in. Say hey to the world. We're walking in to check in. We just took the shuttle. Update you guys on the way. Security screening. Get <laughs> 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 And boy, do I 
have a story to tell. Okay, I'm back and I'm about to tell the story of how we almost did not make it on this cruise ship. I'm gonna try to explain this as quickly as I can, but it's a little bit story. So sit back, relax, you're in for a little bit of a treat. It, I, it shouldn't take me that long. But if you don't wanna listen to this part of the story and just wanna see everything about the cruise, I will put down the timestamp here where you can, or somewhere on the screen, where you can fast forward and just get on with the video but i would say stick along because this is a very interesting story and honestly it might be a little bit of cautionary tale if you want to go on the cruise ship just to make sure you have absolutely everything quadruple chats <laughs> so basically at the time that we went on the cruise it was august of 2022 and at this time you still needed to have COVID vaccination records and a negative COVID test to get on the ship. The rules are a lot more lax now and I do believe that they, I could be wrong but I will fact check this and put the correct information down below, but I'm pretty sure you don't need to have vaccination records to get on ships anymore as of 2023. I could be wrong, um, but at the time that we were going on the ship, you did need vaccination records and you didn't need a negative COVID test. So that was all fine and honestly it makes a ton of sense because on a cruise ship you're in a confined space with just those people and so if one person has COVID or if one person is sick then it can spread through the whole ship very quickly as you're all eating at the same places, going to the pool, going to the club at night. Like it, it could spread very quickly and so they need to make sure that everybody was COVID free in order to get on the ship. Makes sense. So there was a timeline for when you were supposed to get the COVID test. Um, I believe it was three days before the ship left. I could be wrong though. I'll fact check that down below. It's been a minute since the cruise, so give me a sec. Um, but my family and I, we all took our COVID test together. We all went into Quest Diagnostics and we took the test together, but it took us all back at the same time. And we all got our results around the same time obviously everything was fine we printed out our tests and everything and we were ready for after you go through security as you guys saw in um one of the clips you go through security and then you go into another line and then they check you into the cruise so you check like your registration information the covid stuff your passport all those things that's what they check on like after security so mine went through fine my brother logan's went through fine my mom's went through fine and then came for my dad's and there was a little bit of an issue. So for his COVID test, it was negative, but it was the wrong test date. So here's the story. My dad had to take a COVID test back in April for his job. And he also did it through Quest Diagnostics uh, in addition to the one in August that we took for the cruise. So when my COVID test was printed out and said, August and my brother said August my mom said August the date on my dad said April so the lady looked at it and she said we can't accept this because this COVID test is outside of the date range we're like what that's impossible we took the test just a couple days ago she's like this says April when I tell you all of our heads were spinning we're like what how did that happen she's like, okay partially our fault we did not check the date that is had on like the sheet of paper but honestly we didn't expect for it to say a different date than the date that we took the test because quest diagnostics sent the test to us so we we're like oh my gosh did we print out the wrong test and my dad picked the wrong email because they sent your send your test through an email so we we're like oh my gosh did he click the wrong email and just print out the one from april so she was like, I'm gonna need you guys to like step out of line because I have to take the rest of the people. So me, my brother, my mom could get on the ship, but my dad couldn't. And we weren't about to get on the ship without him. So he had to go and try to work his phone so he could pull up the correct test results. But here's the issue. So in like the area where they have security and like the check-in and everything, you're in like this dome, right? And whatever they made the dome out of, you get no reception at all. There's no reception in that dome. And that's just like known, like your phones don't work, nothing loads, nothing works in that dome. So my dad walked like closer to the door to like try and get a reception, but there's a security guard at the door saying, look, I can't let you, pat if you pass this line, if you get go outside of this door, 
you're gonna have to go through security again so basically you if you leave if you walk one foot out of the door you have to go through the whole security process again so my dad's standing at the door and he's trying to get reception but you're still within the dome so there was no reception at all and so i went up there because my dad was taking a good while just standing there trying to get his phone to work and i was like like what's going on like we gotta hurry up because also mind you the ship's about to leave the ship has a has a sailing time and if you're not on that ship by that sailing time it's a wrap so i asked him i was like what's going on he was like there's no reception and the guy was like i was like okay well let's like go outside you know probably be better than being inside the dome the guy's like the security guard was like no like if you step outside this line like you have to go through the security process again and i was like well okay we're gonna have to go through the security process again because you know you work here the, the, the you're not getting reception in this dome and there was another guy that was also standing there trying to get his phone to work and he stayed there he didn't get his phone to work your phone's not gonna work in the dome there's no reception like and it honestly wasn't that big of a deal for us to go through the security process again because security didn't take that long it was literally a metal detector so i don't know why i mean he was just doing his job but like it really wasn't that big of a deal so we went outside and we tried to get his phone to work but also in the area where you know it's like the port and the dome there's not that many routers so we're like holding our phones up like trying to like get reception and eventually we do like i'm working on my phone my dad's working on his and so we were trying to pull up his email so we could get the email with the correct test screenshot it show it to the lady get on the boat well he finally pulls up his email and the email that Cross Diagnostic sent in the august date was the april test so it wasn't our fault they sent the wrong test results so yes my dad did take the test in august but they, he, they, they sent they, they sent the wrong date so it wasn't really our fault i mean yes still kind of on our part we should have checked the dates because if we had caught that it was the april test instead of the august one then we could have had this whole situation figured out sooner but also on their part they sent the wrong test results because we requested for the august test results and they sent the april one um so we had to call quest diagnostics at this point and ask them to hurry up and send his august test results and at this time the ship was leaving in 45 minutes so we call quest diagnostics and i'm talking to this lady on the phone and she honestly wasn't being the nicest i explained to her the whole situation i was like we're trying to get on the cruise ship it's leaving in 45 minutes if we're not on this boat we can't get on the ship it's a family vacation you guys sent the wrong test results like you guys sent the april one and not the august one and she honestly wasn't being that helpful um she was like okay like i'll send it but you're gonna have to go through like the whole like security process thing because when they send the email with test results it's like a secure sec secure it like email so that's just in like a security thing first make sure it's like your email and then they send your test results but the thing is they'll send the the one email first and it'll come in like seconds and then the next one might take 30 plus minutes we don't have 30 plus minutes we're trying to get on this ship and so the first email comes and I was like, I was like, no, like, can you please just like bypass the whole like security thing? Like it's our email, like it's the correct email. Can you just bypass the whole thing? Because we need this test now. And I know that they can bypass it because there was an issue with my test where they sent the first email and I never got the second one. And so we had to call them. This was prior to the whole ship thing. This was like days before the trip. Uh, we called them and then they just bypassed the whole security thing and they just sent my test just like straight. Um, so I know that they could bypass it. And so I asked her, I was like, could you please just like bypass it? And she was like, no, no, we can't do that. No, we're not allowed to do that. I was like, no, like you've done it before. Like I've had my security screen like bypassed. Like you, you can do this. And she was like, no, no, I can't do that. I can't do that. I'm gonna send the first one and then you'll get the second one when you get it. Girl, we have to get on a ship. So anyways, we wait, like 10 minutes go by. And I was like, you know, we can't wait. We can't wait. We can't wait any longer. So I call back. And at this point, I put out my feminine energy. And I start crying. And honestly, the tears were real. The tears were very real because I was very, very stressed trying to get my dad on the ship. He was being surprisingly calm, which just made me even more pressed because like, how are you calm? How are you calm? But 
Anyways, I started crying. And so I pick up the phone and I call back with tears in my eyes and like a shaky voice. And I'm like, hi, my name is Ryan. Oh, my family and I are trying to get on this ship. We have a family vacation. Cruz is leaving in like 20 minutes. And but you guys sent my dad's test. You guys sent the wrong date. You took a test in August, but you guys sent the April test date. And they can't accept that because it's without the time frame. And I was like, can you please just send this correct test date from August? And like, Whatever, right? And the lady's like, oh my gosh, yes, of course. Like, I'm so sorry. She's like, I'm so sorry we sent the wrong one. Yes, I'll send it over right now. So, so nice. And I was like, thank you, thank you so much. And I was like, can you please just like bypass the whole like security thing because that takes too long and we're still waiting on the second email from the one that we did a couple minutes ago. Can you please bypass it? She's like, yeah, sure, I'll bypass it. She bypasses it. We get the email within like two minutes. But, but y'all don't do that. But y'all can do that. Anyways, we get the email and we're like, okay, great. I'm straight back through security, super quick, was not a long line at all because at this point, everybody's trying to get on the ship. Everybody pretty much is on the ship. So there was no line at all. We get through security and we go up to the lady and she approves it. She's like, okay, great. Now you guys can get on the ship. So yeah, that is the story. But we almost did not make it. We were running out of time. They're about to close the check-in, but we made it in time. And it was, it was all God, honestly. That was God doing his thing because we, we, we were either about to not go at all or go without my dad. But nevertheless, we made it on the ship and now we can get on to the rest of the video in our first day. Everything was smooth sailing from here. Well, kind of. There's some other stories from things that happened on the other days, but we'll get into those in the other videos. But for right now, back to our original programming. Let's get this vacation started. This guy is so nice. Good the shirt. This is my song. This is mine. We'd like to remind you that this safety briefing is mandatory for all guests. But we have not completed it. Sam with the day. In we go. Lighting's a little trash, but room tour. They're just not. Here is the bed, but right when you walk in, here's the closet. A ton of closet space, a safe, some shelves, and then your life jackets. Okay. We have the cruise TV on with some more shelves. We have connecting rooms with our parents, so that door opens to that room. Artwork, more artwork, and the bed. Bedside table, the telephone, a little couch, and then we have a little bay window. Hi! And we can look out and see the Royal Promenade, which is where all the shops are. So we can see people. I wonder if they can see me, probably. But, oh, and there's the Royal Caribbean sign. <laughs> and then here we go. There's my bag over there, but we have a desk. It's me. Hi! And then over here, Logan's in the bathroom. Logan, are you using the bathroom? We're just hiding. He was just hiding. So here's the bathroom. Here's the shower. Toilets, yes. Show us the bathroom, Logan. Ooh, what's this? Cups. Cups, oh, so nice. Is that soap? No, it's bath soap. Oh, okay, sink. Okay, lighting. Okay, lighting. Towels. There's a hole. A hole. Oh. <laughs> Trash can. Okay. Beautiful. So the rooms and the state rooms on a cruise ship are obviously small because it's a ship and they're trying to fit a lot of people. But for two people, this is a great size. And we have connecting rooms with our parents. So the kids are in one room. And our parents are in the other one. I'm super excited. The silverway party is at four. I think you got a free bracelet at one of the shops at two o'clock, so I went and go and hit that. But I'll update you guys when we do something else. 
That is yet some bread and butter. What'd you get, Logan? Potato wedges, fries, and burger. Okay. What'd you get, Daddy? A salad, some pasta, some fish, and a cheeseburger. They already broke. Mommy's getting her stuff. This is strawberry kiwi. Pretty good. Pretty good. Tastes like strawberry kiwi. For our light dessert, we have oatmeal, cream, and cookies, apple pound cake. Wow. I don't know what this is. Cream and cake. And jello. Okay, man. And there's New York. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this song follows us everywhere we go. Where'd they go? They kept walk. They're over there. Living in a lonely world They took the midnight train going anywhere Just a city boy Born and raised in South Detroit He took the midnight train going
caught Nigel. We came back to the room, chilled out for a little bit, <laughs> got dressed, and now we are heading to the magic show and then dinner. I am dressed super extra, but I love this outfit, so I had to wear it. Okay, OOTD. I have this yellow dress from Sheen. I have um, these necklaces and our necklace, and then a starfish from Iceland. Earrings. Cool purse, tropical heels, and a little jacket in case I get cold. Heading into the shower. show it was really fun you couldn't film in there but it was a really good show it's the magic show but also the luck and the board show so like totally different stuff about the shift stuff going on yeah now we're in the promenade it's so pretty we're heading to dinner in the sapphire dining room and my long yellow dress and heels on so excited to be i'm so hungry this is like right outside our room our room is like directly across from this, so we're like right up there. From Brulee. What did you get, Logan? What did you get? Blueberry something. Mm -hmm. What did you get? Okay, what did you get? Hazelnut chocolate cake. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> that was underwhelming. <laughs> My first time trying from Brulee on camera. No. <laughs> she don't even like eggs. Why she don't like eggs? Um, it tastes good. No, not a lot. It tastes like a toasted marshmallow. I don't like toasted marshmallow. Take two. Blueberry cobbler and ice cream. Let me eat it first. Give me ice cream with it. <laughs> well, maybe I should have got the ice cream first. Yeah, put the ice cream. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is it. That's it. That's it. Oh, good. Hey. Uh, hey. Hey. Yeah. Hey. It probably oh. ran out <laughs> No, hey. Oh. Watch it pop up. <laughs> no. No story. Okay, I didn't press record Not last weird. time. But we're at the teen silent disco party <laughs> and I can't have headphones because I'm 19 and not a teenager so I'm just here chaperoning as Logan's a participant in the party. He got the wristband. Show him the wristband. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's very awkward. Yeah. <laughs> Chilly, but nighttime vibes. I don't see the moon. <laughs> we passed it. <laughs> the moon. <laughs> oh, there's a movie it's playing. Nothing. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's just spooky. <laughs> this is some scary. Oh, this is some scary. Oh, oh, all right. Logan yeah. the Frank, yeah. you can't see nothing. Yo, cool. <laughs> I thought the ocean disappeared. <laughs> This is so funny. Oh my god. So we took some pictures at the stairs. I'll insert them here because it was hilarious. But now we're on the top deck at night and it is We can run. Look. It's a Do you wanna get up in the morning and run? Yeah, let's do that. Do you actually or are you Oh my gosh, I wanna do it so bad. Like I wanna get up. 3 a.m. and you know okay. every in middle of the night so I just like wake up sometimes I'm like I gotta run yeah I'm like I just got to <laughs> instead of eating you know or sleeping just running like 
This is so fun. Wait, um, can I drop? You, <laughs> <laughs> you can see the party. Yo, it's oh, yo. Look at the clouds. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wait, wait, he did that so wait, I can't run up in here. Logan! Wait, Logan, come here! It's Sunday! 